All right, let's see why n choose 2 equals n times n minus 1 divided by 2. So n choose 2 means that if there are n objects, how many different ways can I choose two of them? And order doesn't matter. So with five cats, how many different ways can I choose two of them where order doesn't matter? So there are five options for the first cat that I pick. Let's say I picked this one. Then afterward, there are four options for the second cat that I pick. Let's say I picked this one. So that means there's five times four options for me. So 20 options to pick two cats out of five, right? Well, we actually double counted because remember, order doesn't matter. So picking this cat, then this cat counts the same as picking this cat, then this cat. So we would have five times four divided by two, which is 10. So five choose two is 10. There are 10 different ways of picking two cats out of these five where order doesn't matter. Now, here's another scenario. If there are 10 people and they each shake each other's right hand exactly once, how many handshakes occurred? Now, this is essentially the same question. We're basically asking how many pairs are here? Now, there are 10 people shaking nine hands each, and we need to divide this by two because we double counted. A shaking B's hand counts the same as B shaking A's hand. So with the cat example, there were n number of ways of picking the first cat and n minus one ways of picking the second cat. And we divide by two because order doesn't matter. We double counted. And with the handshake example, there were n number of people shaking n minus one hands. And we divide by two because we double counted. Hope this helps.